Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to a completely different setting yet again and welcome to my new hair which I really like. It's not gonna stay straight for a very long time but I'm just gonna appreciate it for now. It's so not problematic and just wow this is incredible anyway um in today's video i will be talking about the books that i read so far in january and half of february um aka january wrap up plus the books that i want to read in february aka the books that i actually want to read in like a month roughly of time because i'm just gonna let's just pretend it's the beginning of february and i'm doing this on time okay thanks also i really don't know how the sound and like the light and everything is in here i'm assuming it's pretty horrible so i am very sorry for that but i really did want to film this especially since my hair is like so weird and i just i just can't get over it so i had to like you know film a video to document this because it won't stay like very long this straight is just so amazing anyway so i actually haven't been in very reading mood um since this year started i got a job and it's been just such a like oh what is happening so um life has been happening and i get really confused by it so i haven't been reading that much but i really want and hope and feel like i'll get back in that reading spirit as like sort of get like accustomed to everything and everything works out and you know everything's cool and chill and i'm like okay i can read now i don't know that's just how it works so i read four books i think in total up till now and let's just quickly go through them also can't we talk about the fact that it's already half over half of february i am i am terrified by that where is this year heading i actually don't want to know okay anyway i'm so tired let's just get into this video first book i read this year is the black flamingo by dean ashton this book is about a boy who as he grows up tries to find his place in the world his identity where he belongs his sexuality is dealing with all the coming out and understanding what he wants who he is what he wants to do in life it's a very very lovely heartwarming story and it's written in verse which just adds so much to the experience and just expresses so many emotions it is just uh, it's so good it was really a great start to the year to start with this book and i felt so connected to the characters which i had not expected since I'm not like a big fan of poetry and in general I can't really connect to the narrator to the speaker and not the narrator to the speaker but it was not the case here it was just so well written and Next up, I read The Book Tour by Andy Watson, which is actually a graphic novel. And I was at the bookstore one day and I picked this up and I got so intrigued by it that I decided I just really want to read this and I want to figure out what's gonna happen. And this is actually so different from what I had expected it to be. I read no reviews, I didn't even read what this was about. Um, so this is basically a sort of Kafka-esque story if you don't know what that exactly means it's basically like very absurd ironical it represents the world in a very like nonsensical way like nothing really makes sense everything is entirely absurd and full of contradictions so this graphic novel i it sort of centers around a guy who goes on a book tour but nobody is showing up for his meetings and then strange events are happening that are somehow correlating to his books and there's some murder going on and i was honestly so convinced that this book is going to be like a murder mystery or something like that but it just turned out to be very very absurd and ironical so that was not expected at all and like very infuriating in the end if you don't know that this is a type of graphic novel slash story this is so be prepared for that if you're going into this graphic novel but it was honestly so so interesting and just so fun to read very entertaining and i got so engaged i was just like i can't sleep i need to read this i did end up really enjoying it and it helped me get into that reading spirit um so i guess yeah it was it was good and also like really quick to read and also just very entertaining next up i read a book that i actually can't stop thinking about and that is a winter's promise by chris day Defoe. i can't believe i actually 
read it after all this time I've been talking about it and it was honestly kind of slow to get through. I mean, it took me like three weeks to get through this book, which considering how it could have gone is not that quick, I guess. Just because I think there's not much actually happening in it. There's more like world building and character development rather than actually action, action, action. Um, so I, I can actually tell you what this book is about now. That is astonishing. This book is set in the future where the world, like the world we know today, planet Earth, is broken into many little pieces. And this girl lives on an ark, which is one of these little pieces of the world, um, and she is able to read the past of objects, and she's also able to travel from mirrors. And one day, it turns out, she's going to be married to this guy from a completely different ark, which is quite unimaginable at this period of time, um, who comes from the pole and she's going to be married to him, she knows nothing about him, she's never met him, she doesn't understand why this whole situation has come to be and what is going to happen and she's just thrown into the unknown and we follow her through a world of intrigues, politics, different types of magic, I want to say, different type of powers and it's just very, very interesting. I think the writing style and the world building were just so, so unique and well done in this book that I I could not put it down and yet I took so much time to read it so it doesn't really make much sense but once I got drawn into it I, I just could not put it down. I'm just so in love with this world immediately and I need to know what happens next. The last book I did end up reading so far this year is Sweet Bean Paste by Dorian Sukagawa and this book is a book my friend lent me and it oh, it's so adorable. This book is set in Japan and follows a man who has failed in life I guess you could say. He was sentenced to two years in prison after committing a crime and he is trying to now pay off the debt that he owns to a guy who sort of saved his life after he left prison. And in order to pay that debt, he is now working in a dorayaki store, which is a Japanese confectionery, like a pancake filled with some paste, sweet bean paste specifically. Um, and his business is not going very well and things are just not heading in any direction and he has forgotten about all the dreams that he once had when one day an elderly lady comes into the store and suggests that she works with him because she can make amazing sweet bean paste and at first he's not convinced because of her crippled hands but later it turns out her sweet bean paste is actually absolutely amazing and they decide to work together and it's life changes. In the beginning it was a bit hard to get into the writing style but later on it all just flowed just adorable. I just loved it so, so much. So now let's move on to the books that I want to read in the next month. And we're going to start with um, Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. And I actually started this, but then I put it down because I wanted to finish this book. So I am not entirely sure what this book is about. From what I understand, there's this bomb that can freeze all of Earth. And there is a group of people who are trying to find it and it leads them to madness. I, I'm i just like, yeah, okay, it's going to be interesting and it's going to be well written and that's all I expect. And that, that's why I just really want to read this. And yeah, yeah, it's here. It's pretty short. High hopes. Next up, I have Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo. Lee Bardugo is one of my favorite authors and this is basically her way of retelling the story of Wonder Woman and I watched the movie that came out a while ago, like four years ago I think, um, kind of enjoyed it and I'm just, I was just thinking maybe this is sort of similar and I don't, I don't know, I just bought it randomly but I've been eyeing it for a while now and I've been meaning to read it. I actually also started reading it but I think I just read a page. So never mind, but yeah, it's also here. Next up is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. I've actually been making my way through this for a while now. This book follows a bunch of characters and there's a cafe in which you can go back in time. There's a set of rules that you need to follow to do that and it's a bit pointless really, <laughs> but 
there is a bunch of characters that still do that nevertheless for their own reasons and you follow their stories you follow their regrets pretty interesting so far and i do enjoy the writing style a lot along with the stories it's just been so interesting how these characters are all somehow connected and yeah i actually do really recommend it and i am sure i will pick up book too so next is a book that i just found out about but 20 minutes ago and I saw the cover and I saw roughly what it's about. I mean, I just know it's about a Korean bakery and there's a lot of baking references. And after Sweet Bean Face, that's all I want to read about. So I just thought I definitely need to have this and I definitely need to read this and it's coming out in Poland in this beautiful, like stunning cover. Anyway, it's called The Wizard Bakery and I'm sorry, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the surname, but the cover is right here. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited about this. I want to read all about bakeries right now and I need to, I need to read this book and I really hope I do. I mean, just look at that cover. It is stunning. Next up on this list is The Missing of Claire de Lune and this is book two in the Mirror Quartet, that's what it's called, I think. I just know I'm gonna continue on with the series. It's... Uh, I keep thinking about it all the time. It's just so well written. I know I'm not gonna finish it though. I'm gonna start it. It's gonna take me much more to finish it, but I'm sure I'm gonna start it. And last on this list is Prince of Steel, which is the first graphic novel in the series of graphic novels set in the world of A Darker Shoot of Magic by Fee Schwab, which you all know is like one of my favorite, if not my favorite series of all time. And I've been thinking about reading the graphic novels for such a long time now, but I just wasn't sure because it's different to read a book and it's different to read a graphic novel set in the same world, let alone if it's an adaptation of that book, like, you know, the graphic novel. Is based on the book that is just weird to me but i just figured you know what i'm gonna support v schwab i'm gonna read more about this amazing world that i am in love with what could go wrong here i hope nothing and i hope to read maybe more than one in this tbr thing <laughs> okay that is it for this video i think i talked about everything i have Pretty high hopes for February, I mean February because we're halfway through it. I want to read. I miss reading. I miss reading a lot. So I think it's gonna happen. Fingers crossed. And what is your favorite book that you have read so far in 2021? If you have gotten through any, that would be also great to know. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this video was bearable to watch and I hope to see you very soon in my next video. Bye!